Give me the nod. Okay, welcome back. Another epic video from Motor Addicts. We've got an old school Ford behind us. It's engine swapped, it's rowdy as f and it's gonna be epic. Hang around for this. Okay, so as the intro said, we are here with Wayne. Thank you so much, Wayne, for coming along, bringing along your Ford. Let's talk a little bit about it because already it's not the right color for the era. So there's a color swap and you've got, yeah. you've de-chromed and you've done some nice stuff to it. It looks absolutely epic, but it doesn't just end there. So the engine's been swapped out of it. Yeah, it yeah. So you bought it as a build? Yeah, so the van was built in 2019 by quite a well-known guy in the scene. Okay. Um, when I got it, it had an ST170 in it on 45 mil throttle bodies running absolutely terribly. Okay, right. Yeah. And you couldn't settle for that, so you've been in and you've well, taken a lot out. We never got further than a mile, mile and a half from home without having to always ring up people to come <laughs> and we have to have recovery behind us all the time. It sounds like one of our builds, doesn't it? Yeah. It sounds like the micro it builds. Like yeah. yeah. Well, let's, yeah. let's not tease them any longer. Let's yeah. get stuck in. Let's have a look at the jewel and then uh, let's have a look at this engine bay. Love this colour. It looks neat as a button as well. Not an inch of it mm. untouched. It is a pearlescent, Nick. Oh, it's a pearlescent, very good. You said it's nit nitrous blue, nitro blue? Yeah. It, which it, is the Mark III it, RS colour, is it? It did come in this colour. Yeah. But when I got it, it had been painted in 2019. I've owned it just shy of two years. There was rust showing. Oh, really? Yeah. Down the length of the roof gutters and just various places. And it had marks and just, it wasn't sort of looked after. I don't think in between the person who built it and other owners, it just seemed to get quite a few war wounds around it. So it's been totally taken back and painted from top to bottom, all new roof gutters, custom made, like handmade, should I say, and uh, put in front to back. And then, yeah, the whole thing's been, the whole the whole van's been painted. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's what it's all about though, isn't it? Yeah. So they start off ST170, yeah. again, another, another ST170 engine. Yeah, it had, it had, yeah, I've still got that engine. So yeah, it had an ST170 in there, uh, standard engine on Gen V 45 mil throttle bodies, and it had like a, uh, Piper exhaust manifold. Yeah, yeah. I had a printout for 189 horsepower, but I don't think I ever drove it over 89 horsepower. Okay. It was, yeah, <laughs> it like was really I say, it, it, it was just, it never ever went well for me, uh, for, for in my ownership. I ended up just driving it home one day with a hump, and I, right. I, I removed the engine that day to make sure that I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to do a build. I didn't plan on going quite as mad. I um, mean, it's incredibly neat. I mean, every, look, there's not an inch of dust on this thing. Um, it's, a, it's a spectacle. I mean, you talked through some of the performance figures. It's had a lot of work to get it where it is now, hasn't it? So what sort of power is it running today? So it's running 240 horsepower. Which is a lot for uh, them engines. It made that genuinely uh, uh, track and road in, uh, in Essex. Okay. Um, they're genuine guys, genuine figures. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was expecting more, but after coming away and doing my research, that's a very healthy figure. Yeah, These, gosh. There's other figures rattling around with higher figures, but they're non-genuine, so. Man, I can't wait. I'm buzzing uh, to get out in this. Um, yeah. The thing is about the ST-170s as well, you were talking about 
the, the, the throw and the, the fact it's a square block in other cars, but this yeah. isn't a square block, well, so this is slightly harder to get the... The, the, the Z-Tech bore size to stroke and stuff, it's not nowhere near as good as, the, say, the Voxel XEs yeah, or yeah. the Pinto or the, the YB, which is still a Pinto. Um, they're a lot easier to get power from. Yeah. Um, these are actually quite hard to withdraw That's power, power from, yeah, and they yeah. cost a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> you told I'd, me off camera what you'd put into the engine build alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, whatever you think it is, probably times it by two. That's yeah. what I would say to you. <laughs> um, I was very fortunate. I met a guy called Nick who owns um, Automotive Machine Services in Ditchling. Um, not as, not as, he just knows everything. He's, yeah. I mean, I've, I'm in the trade myself and he blows me away. Right. Uh, Nick absolutely blows me away. He's like the modern day Albert Einstein. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I like, you only have to spend about 10 minutes with you and you were talking about the details of a bracket and the way it fits, and you love the engineering side to it as well, and obviously that goes to show yeah. in, in this car as well. Or yeah, van, even though I, say, I got the OCD with it looking right and being as clean as it, it can be, um, the engineering of it for me is yeah. foremost. I mean, epic, mm. absolutely epic. So walking back then, so to the cabin, you were saying this is you've taken a lot of the interior out and this is all new stuff you put in? Um, yeah, so I, I put a large tunnel in it. Out of an, you buy an automatic tunnel right. to get the uh, Quay, five, Quay five speed gearbox in there. Gives you a lot more room to get it in and out of the car. Um, yeah, I bought some genuine reupholstered um, RS2000. Love, have you seen these seats, Dick? RS2000 seats. <sighs> Something about the um, netting on the on the headrest of a seat. You know it's a good seat. Yeah. From so that era, it looks the part. It's neat as a button again. Yeah. Yeah, they're super all, super clean. They're all genuine, try and keep it a period. But I love all these touches as well. They would be chrome when you've matte blacked it, same with the bumpers and yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really yeah. well thought out. And you were saying before, you didn't want it to be wide bodies, you didn't want it to be no. lots of excess. You kind of like a, a clean line on the vehicle and yeah. that's what you're going yeah. for, which I think you've nailed. Um, image wheels, are they 13s, 14s? They're 13, 13 by eight. Okay. Uh, image, three piece spit rims. They, and then suspension wise? Spring, um, cut springs or so it's got decambered cut springs like the micro cut springs, cut springs like the micro. if you spend that much on that car that's not cut springs is it yeah lowering springs so I say. it's got uh decambered single piece springs on the back with gas shocks oh yeah um, nice. axles all narrowed yeah and stuff it's got a gripper uh diff in it and then it's got split two-piece 18 spline shafts cosworth two-wheel drive cosworth rear brakes on it i mean yeah, yeah. i mean and then Back, obviously it's a van so the back of it just an empty van so it can't weigh yeah, much as it no. is i mean there's not even a sub in the back still is gutted yeah, no, no all about sure. a big sub in the back no, but um not even a stereo no no the, stereo the, the music's the, the front one i say yeah, yeah. <laughs> the engine's the stereo alone isn't yeah. it so so what do you reckon it weighs i mean it's, it can't weigh much can it it's under a ton i don't yeah, know i've got to say all day long I don't yeah know. um i've never really looked into it and i'll probably be corrected but i think they're about 900 kilos but i okay. don't I, i'm not sure well, it's about to be two ton with Nick in it. <laughs> That's it, yeah. I'm a ballast boy, put it that way, yeah. Well, but how does it grip similar. up? Does it grip up well? Extremely well. Extremely <laughs> well. Yeah. Two words I w <laughs> always make me nervous. Extremely well when it grips up. Okay. Well, yeah. should we go out for a drive then and see what it's like? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm already smiling. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Let's go out and have a look. Gearbox one, yeah, yeah. It's got a straight cut gearbox in it. Jesus, right. And you were saying the drive, the actual ride of this is pretty good. Like, you want it to ride quite well for the age of the car, obviously. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted uh, the, the best balance possible so it could. Uh, there's quite often you see builds and there's, there's people sitting in the car shaking themselves to, to death. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to, I want to try and get a really good balance of it all. So for what it is, it actually drives quite well. Quite well yeah, yeah, yeah. And that wine. Woo. Oh god! Okay. Here we go then.
old boys, I tell you. <laughs> you know they've got on a show. Man. What are they okay. for? I've barely got started. Three minutes in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I was sitting there wiping out what I'm doing, I was thinking, should I turbo it? I mean, like you said earlier though, there's no lag, is there? It's, it gets on song nice and early. No, exactly that. So, uh, no, it takes every single box. Uh, Man, doesn't it just? And uh, it, it goes surprisingly well for what it is. And some, yeah, and it sounds great as well. Proper, proper Ford. Yeah. Driven by a proper, proper Ford owner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's such a good build, it's so good. Thank so you. clean, everything's so crisp as well, I love it. I thought he was expecting that. 
There's none of approval for the M3. Fair play. Fair play. Did we pack any new pants today? <laughs> well, mate, thank you so much, Wayne. Uh, the car speaks for itself, quite literally. What a racket. From the minute we got out of there, well, I could tell it was going to be an interesting review and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there's literally nothing else to say. <laughs> Everything was left out there, I think. If they want to build something like this, I mean, drive it like that is if you're going to build it. Um, what is it with these four boys? They just drive like maniacs. Loved it though. <laughs> uh, that's it. I mean, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode um, with the supply teacher today, but that is definitely made up for it. Gosh, uh, man, thank you so much. Uh, I'm speechless and that's, that takes some doing. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of the videos. If you're at home and you think, I've got a car just like that, doubt it. But if you do, message us, follow us on Instagram. We would love to feature it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.